Here we go. Hello there. Thanks for joining me. I'm AV Storyteller and this is my Let's Play The Witcher Wild Hunt. Let's jump back into the action here. Make sure everything is recording, which it looks like. So destination Skellige. Find a boat to Skellige. But we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to pop over to here. Check out whatever that notice board is. And then I'm thinking finish off that cabaret and then off to Skellige. Simple, simple, simples. So, get the roach. Move it. Following the marker. Whoop. Oh, it's not a notice board. It's a person. Yan Yanina, was that? Janina. What happened, ma'am? As if the war weren't enough, sir. I'm losing me ends. How am I to live, eh? Get a look at the thieves. What thieves? It's monsters taking me chickens. An ordinary thief I'd nab on me own, but beasts? What am I to do? Okay, um, what kind of beasties are we talking about? I can help you. Not for free, but... You're advanced in years, so I won't ask too much. Poppycock. Not much, he says, but you'll take me liver come the end. Well, no one else is lining up to help me. Me end started disappearing about a week past. Always take one at a time, the vermin. One at a time? Interesting. Monsters leave any tracks? Aye. Prince of wolf paws, but strange life. As if the wolves walked on their hind legs. Werewolf? And don't you be like that wise ass Yossip from Down Warren tells me I'm mistaken. But few know beast tracks like I do. Me man with the best poacher for miles around. <laughs> poacher. I see. I'd still like to examine the prince myself. New quest Empty Coop. Let's track that quest. Find out what's stealing the old woman's chicken juice in your Witcher uh, sense. Save yourselves! I took a <laughs> accidental swing in midair and everyone goes nuts. Wolf prince, all right. No, something's not right. A peddler. I can't remember if I've got any uh, quality tat to sell. Greetings. We'll find out. Show me your wares. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Uh, actually, the encumbrance is pretty damn low, isn't it? If you had any repair kits on you, I would have bought them from you. Note to sell. Check if Roach has got the best saddle on and blinkers. Farewell. Farewell. <laughs> Chet. So, saddle, saddle, saddle. So, what we've got here? Superior racing saddle. 50% stamina. 5. I suppose I can just simply sell those saddles now. And um, what's my trophy? It's all about the experience. Does the dismember does the same? Does the same? Again, does the same. Gold succubus trophy. I thought that was a snake there, and then I realised it's the lock of her black hair. Wild hunt hound trophy. Could do with some better blinders. Anyway, we were looking for some tracks. Get the silver sword out, in case it is a werewolf. That we're thinking it may be. We're stealing one chuck at the time. Wolf prints. And small footprints next to them, but 
No signs of struggle. Human aid? Little footprints. Interesting. Is it a were child? Hmm. Now we've got like real little feet. Great. Keep your eyes open for any drowners. Bloop, 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 bloop. Nope, tents up ahead. And kiddies. Received ten experience points. Watch out, PT! He's got a sword. A soldier! He won't take us alive. Won't take us alive. Not gonna hurt you. <coughs> then why are you here? That captain with the black moustache send you. Don't know any captain. Followed the tracks of the hen stealing monsters here. <laughs> You're a lot of fuss over a few skinny hens. The old lady didn't like them much anyway. She were always yelling at them. And she looks like a witch. Uh... The sad conclusion of living a long, healthy life is that you end up becoming the villain, <laughs> it seems. Ooh. Are the kids all right? Why are you in the woods? Where are your parents? Soldiers caught him. We was crossing the river, but they spotted us. We ran, but Mum and Dad had bags, told us to flee. Lived in the woods alone ever since? Sure. Find a lot of things, steal a few others. We get by just fine. There must be like a hundred sheep out on the hills at the moment. Pretty mad. I would show you, but the actual lead is not long enough. I would have to orange be a mess. Maybe some other time. You should look for hell. Where the wolf prints come from. Really have a lot. Uh okay. Start at the top. You survive by stealing from others. This can't end well. You should ask someone for help. Who'd help us? Who'd take us? Once we've got all the hens, mm, we'll go the ambulance is woods. shaking. Petey says we's gonna hunt where animal hides, so a tent out of leaves. I never grow up. Peter Pan. Hmm. <sighs> Last bit's most likely. Good luck, I guess, and watch out for yourselves. Quest updated. Empty coup. Convince the old woman to take in the children. An old woman in Valen asked Al for an unusual favour. Some time ago, a hen had gone missing from her hen house. Based on the track she had found, the woman suspected some two-legged creature with wolf-like paws was responsible. Geralt decided to investigate this mysterious being. Geralt discovered the chicken thief was not a monster, but a group of war orphans. Tragic. Their parents caught and killed by passing soldiers. The children had been forced to fend for themselves, and Geralt was forced to choose what to do with them. So, what to do? What to do? What would they do with Charles Thief? Really? I mean, if we're taking the Aladdin, it's like, um, stand for this, they'll probably chop off their hands. So should we really tell her? Hey, witcher! What is it? Ah, <sighs> complete lack of options here. I found the thieves. Found a group of kids in the woods. They were the ones stealing your hens. Oh, children, eh? Riding on the backs of wolves, were they? Never any wolves here. The kids are just clever. If there's anything in their knockings, they'll stay away from me and house now. Uh, 
thing. I suppose I can just ask her, give him a home, like they stop stealing then. I get the impression she's living completely alone by herself. I imagine not an easy life, square from by. She could probably benefit, actually, if they work together. Take them in, give them a home. Won't steal from you then. Sure, but I'll be feeding the whelps. I'll gain nothing from it. But suppose I'll give it some thought. Whoa! Watch where you step. <laughs> you walked right into me. Quest completed. Empty coup. Twenty-five experience points received. Well, wow, that was an interesting kind of little flavour quest, wasn't it? Just uh, a bit of an insight into the war tragedies of parents being killed and one of probably a thousand stories of children having to uh, fend for themselves. I'm shouting because the wind's really howl, uh, really loud in my ears. Let me make sure that everything is recording correctly, which it is, which is awesome. So, that was a bit interesting. So I think it's just what cabaret now. Turn it down the line. Uh, da 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 da. At last I was free. Never had an extra liberty. This is so sweet. True and reliable friend. Asked him for help. I think just this once. One more time. We shall speed things up by just going to the map marker. You didn't get very far, did you, Trader? That pack must be heavy. So... I guess we're going there, then. Gate of the Hierarchy. Whetstone, the Nama's tools, lets you repair your items without having to visit a craftsman. But then you're stuck with the dilemma of, oh, it's only 20% damage, but this arm reset will repair 40%, and I'm going to waste 20%. And they're not cheap. She cast no spells, on my honour. Hello. Sona, worth less than a man's shit. What's going on here? It's chamomile and goatweed. She brewed teas for stomach pain. Aha! So she did make potions. Drew, make a note. Her father tested her. Potions? Are you mad? What's going on? No, no chat. She stayed in the forest with my unit. Might at least have died of dignity. Skyatal. Yes. I can't. It won't let me speak to him. You seek someone, stranger? Yes. Come on, come on. You seek someone, stranger? It's been very fiddly. No, getting a nothing. That was it. I love all these little flavours to the game. Just giving you a taste of like uh, the wars, the squalor, the racism, you know, all the darker sides to this world of high fantasy. Behave, Witcher. A killer prowls the city, but you're not scared, are you? I will not speak to you. I refuse. Baffail. They hate you too, Vatgirl. So I'm talking about respect, so I'm spitting as I walk by. I need a kind of grimy overlay. Zoltan. Get out. Got anything else to say? Uh, I guess in this world, when you actually make a friend, it's like worth a lot. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. 
We've got a little stage going on here. Well, be my, my. Kill one Indeed, more my beast, and I'll give you the keys to the city. Mark my words, I'll kick him out. Yet another night with that whore. Piss off. You kiss your mother with that mouth? What? Chameleon? I didn't mean to click on the sign. I thought it was called the Rosemary in Time. Oh, did it again. It's very noisy and ambient in here for not many people. <laughs> oh, Dudu's had enough and he's leaving. Let's have a quick word with Polly. My, my. Nice work. They have a long way to go yet. Straighten that line. Hannah, lift your knees. Higher. There you go. Which one's Hannah? The one with the nice knees? Well, see, the crew's been hard uh. at work. Not bad. No, no, not all. But I'd imagine something more, you know, more theatrical. theatrical? What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. <laughs> he wanted theatrical. <laughs> How times have changed. Uh, let's start at the bottom. Choreography. What about choreography? Prepared anything special for the opening? We haven't. But Polly has. She's priceless. Came in and brought the girls in line before I could say knickers. Premier will have the audience on their feet, on their knees, both at the same time. Yep. Uh, nick of the round the ankles, I imagine. Why are they not called the Rosemary in time? Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Thyme wasn't all bad, but it conjured images of Tamerian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. And the grand opening. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to nip back home for my dress. Ooh, nip away. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Never thought I'd see the day. Hmm. Dandelion and his fields of dream. Gladly. Why not? That's my boy. Bullshit. You're mine. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He's all right. And she say anything about me? Oh, right. Okay. Dandelion has definitely got a thing for Priscilla. He's got it bad. For the man that can get you know, pretty much any woman he wants, you know, within reason. And he seems to uh, have his interest piqued by Priscilla. <laughs> yeah, she said you were fat and you smell. That's harsh. Why is that the main? Answer. Uh, she praised your rationality. Ooh, might as well say you've got a good personality. Uh, don't remember. Why do you ask? Hmm. Can't say I remember. Why do you ask? No reason. Uh huh. Well, well. Never thought I'd live to see the day. Dandelion living in monogamy. In that type of wood. Monogamous. Well, near enough. I just changed muses often. Priscilla, another one for your collection? No, she's its crowning glory. He said, what taking a suspicious swig. 
How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, oh yes, the Crimson crazy. Adventure. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't? Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? He said, looking suspicious as he takes another swig. She's late, of course. She knew mm, how nice important mask. this night was to me. Of course she did. Chris oh, completed cabaret. So gorgeous. Takes time, you know. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? What? Speak, man! She's badly, uh, been attacked! They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital! Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. Lead on, Mukta. Gods. Film of his ho Priscilla. hospital. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. Oh, wow. I beg your pardon, but you are a what relative? To the... Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. They wanted to burn her vocal cords out. Or, and or cut them out. Who did this to her? Who could have done this? That I do not know. I do, however, know she is not the perpetrator's first victim. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt. I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Is that interesting? That's an int. I'm getting the idea I might like this guy. So did someone interrupt the attack, which is why she didn't have her heart cut? Oh, is that what we're thinking here? Putting yourself in danger? Great analogy, but this tumor is not going to sit there, wait to be excised. Appreciate the help, but I doubt you know what you're getting yourself into. I know perfectly well, and I assure you I can take care of myself. Easy assurance to make, harder to back up. Especially if you've spent your whole life wielding a scalpel, not a sword. Look at this scar. Don't be shy. Any idea what leaves such a mark? A flail. Morning star, maybe. What do you think? A blow sustained at the operating table? No. Let me repeat. I know what I'm doing, and I wish to help. An old soldier, then. Okay, can you get us into the morgue? Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. 
Get a bit of a vigilante here, I'm we thinking. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Damn right. Mm -hmm. Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. And we've got a picture of him. So we know exactly what he looks like. You lead. Ah, quick scene change. So, oh, I'm in the sewers. Preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Think. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. Is it not better to nip the problem in the bud? Speaking I tried to get the about temple drowners. to enter this. Let's get some necrophage oil. And I'm thinking some cat eye, actually. Here we go. There is a last to no avail. Cheeky quick save. So I took matters into my own hands. At no charge. You damned idea. Hear that? Oh. Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. Oh, he's got a crossbow. Hey! Help! Help! Ouch! Oh, sneaky little trick. You okay, Doc? So Ard, Yarden, Igni, Quen, Axi. But of course. Yes. What is it? Gerald! Water hag. Ah you you look her up. I've kind of got some uh infrared vision here. He's a nimble little minx. Come on, pick up that stuff. But you see something else? Come on. Ooh, easy with the boats. Men, you fuck it. I kill one, another takes its place. I know how you feel, believe me. It's just a typical Tuesday. Where to now? Up? Yes, it's not far now. Priscilla. Ah, cat's eyes, Warner. Give it to me straight, no sugar coating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Dandelion? Mole support? How are we doing for time? Ooh, so close. Why have I got Destination Skelligroff as the mission? Let's sort this out. So, is it Cabaret? Cardinal Sons? Not Cardinal Sons. Telling the story, my dear reader, will tax me greatly. It is dark. It is a dark and somber one, encompassing the greatest sorrow my heart has ever known. It all started the day of the grand opening of my cabaret. Everything had been spit, polished to perfection. All that was left was to wait for Priscilla, whose performance would be the crowning moment of this glorious evening. Yet, when the doors of the chameleon burst open, it was not she who stepped inside. Instead, it was a messenger from the Vilmarius Hospital. 
his pale, his face pale and his countenance dour, he informed us Priscilla had been badly wounded in an assault and was currently tottering on the brink of death. So let's not dawdle. Take the ladder. Take the ladder, not going to the menu, thank you very much. This is the place. A quest Come, update the Cardinal saying. Why? Got somewhere to be? Character Someone entry update is Jacob von Graz. For example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Pastodi. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. A dwarven woodcarver. And I think I'm going to end it there for today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Uh, let me know what you think. This is very intriguing. I'm really liking this guy's character. I'm almost getting a bit of a Batman vibe from him. Um, so, until next episode, take care of yourself and goodbye for now. Bye-bye.